Hi everybody, Mags here, and I'm back with another Crochet With Me video. This was a request from a friend of mine, Frances, that I met through Facebook. She is having trouble following along with different messy bun hats that are out there. So I figured I would help her out with that. This is the start of a typical bean using double crochet. The way I did it is I'm using an eye hook and Red Heart Super Saver yarn. I did the first three rounds, but these two rounds is a circle every bit of that big. That's more than enough to put your hair through and still keep your head warm. So that's 12 stitches. That's 24 stitches. This is 36. So I chain 24 stitches and then I do what I would nor what you would normally do for row 3 which is 2 double crochet then 1 then 2 then 1 then 2 then 1 like you normally would. So using blue do a slip knot. And then I chain 24 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And bring the tail end back up. Go into the last, the first chain stitch that I made. And then I do a slip stitch. Chain three. For those of you that do a double crochet with a chain two, that's fine too. I just use a chain three. Now into the ring, not into the individual stitches, we're going to do one, two, three. Four. Ten. Now that's ten double crochet, and I'm just crocheting around my chain stitch. I'm doing thirty-six double crochet around this chain stitch, which will tighten it up because there's only twenty-four chains here, and I'm doing thirty-six stitches in it. It'll tighten it up, and it'll be about the same size as this. Okay, so that's ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Whoops. Oh, it's a half double. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. 
dropping the tail behind for 19. Twenty. Twenty-one. Oops. I can stick with the same stitch. Stick with the same stitch. Thirty three. I think that might be thirty two. Thirty four. I have to recount. Thirty four. Thirty five. That sh is either 36 or 35 stitches. We will have to recount. But you can see the hole for the messy button. Okay, let's recount these stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, one, two, three, four, five. I am one stitch off. So we'll do 35. And there is 36. This is the same number of stitches outside of this. Give or take. A millimeter here, a millimeter there. About the same size. And then from here, we would go on, like we're going on to round four in your typical beanie hat. So we do a slip stitch. Chain two or three, whichever is your preference. preference. And then we're going... Crochet one double crochet in the first two stitches, two double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next two stitches. Two double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next two stitches. Two double crochet in the next stitch. Now, since I started with one, two, then two, my last stitch here will be a double. If you start with a double and then one, two, you'll get to the same thing. You'll do, get the same number of stitches, the same look, but you'll end with a single 
double crochet in the stitch. One double crochet in the next two stitches. Two double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into the next two stitches. Two double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet in the next two stitches. Two double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next two stitches. Two double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next two stitches. Two double crochet in the next stitch. Two double crochet in the next two. One double crochet in the next two stitches. Two double crochet in the next two stitches, two double crochet in this stitch. Two double cro one double crochet in the next two stitches. Almost did it again. Two double crochet into the next stitch. Two double crochet in one double crochet into the next two stitches. Two double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into the next two stitches. Two double crochet into the last stitch. And there you have rows three and four of a beanie hat, leaving the hole in the middle for your messy bun. And then from here you do two more increasing rows, three, four, five, and six. The next increasing row is do a slip stitch. And then chain two or three. And then here you do one, two, three, and then two double crochet in the fourth. Again, you do one double crochet in the next three stitches. And then you two double crochet into the next stitch. And then you repeat that all the way around until you do two double crochet in your last stitch. And I will be right back when I get to that point. Alrighty. And I am back doing the last four stitches of three, four, row five. It's one, two, 
three, one double crochet in the next three stitches, two double crochet in the last stitch. And then you slip stitch to join. And then chain up three. Now for row six, which this would be the final increasing row in the hat. You do one double crochet in the next four stitches. Three. And then two double crochet in the next stitch. Again, one double crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four, two double crochet in the next stitch. One more time. One. Double crochet in the next four stitches. Two. Three. Four. One double crochet in the next. Two double crochet in the next stitch. And I will be right back when I when we get to the end of row six. We are back for final stitches for row six, which is one double crochet in the next four. One, two, three, and four, and then two double crochet in the last. And that is all you have to do to start and grow out your messy bun hat. From here, you would slip stitch, chain up two or three, and do one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And then repeat that row until it's long enough for your head or whoever's head you're making. If you are doing this for somebody smaller, like I said, this will fit 18 or an adult woman, then instead of doing 24 with 36 stitches in it, you would chain 12 and do 24 in it. That would be a smaller hole than what's here. For a smaller head, grow it out to four and then repeat one double crochet in each stitch round until it was long enough. This is how you start and grow out a messy bun. Yes baby and that is my son. And that is it for this video tutorial. I hope it helps anybody who is also having trouble figure, figuring out how to start and grow a messy bun hat. And if there if you have any requests, let me know. I'm kind of slow on the videos right now with my son being homeschooled. Come here, baby. And Christmas and birthdays and all of that good Birthday. stuff. So, I hope, you, I hope this helps you and I hope that you enjoy.